What's up everybody? We are back with another music production tutorial and this month it's all about house music. More specifically, classic US house music and the nostalgia is real. Chunky piano and organ steps are everywhere you listen, layered with vocal chops and energetic drum patterns. We just released a new expansion called Higher Plays together with a new play instrument called Feel It. Both of them cover the full spectrum of the most iconic drum machines and synths of the 90s and it's been a real pleasure to dive into them and become inspired by the must-have presets of countless hit records. It definitely took me on a trip down memory lane. So, The idea for this track was ignited by the new Feel It instrument. It's packed with sublime keys, bass and string presets. The sound of the Baby Love piano preset was exactly what I had in mind. But instead of recording a melody with only single notes, I went straight to the chords mode instead. Here you can choose from different chord sets and the higher you go up the list, the more complex the chord sets are gonna look like. Here in the chord set minor seven, I found three chords that really appealed to me. So they are going to be the basic elements of my track. The instrument also gives you the option to tweak the sound a little more. I just go to the plugin page and here I have all the parameters laid out that I can use to change the sound a little bit. For example, you can crossfade between layer A on the left hand side, layer B on the right hand side, and that knob allows me to crossfade between these two. Also, depending on the preset, you'll find a collection of different effects that fit to that preset. Here in that case, I have a little bit of a bit crusher going on. There's a high pass. And if you want to work in a more visual way, just bring up the user interface here in the software and you'll find all the different pages like the effects page, the sequencer page and the macro page right away along with the eight knobs that you're already familiar from the hardware. And come up with these typical filter house chords. Besides all the classic chord progressions, house music expresses itself also through the use of raw drum sounds. Often they come with very simple patterns but feature a special swing that helps to create a groove. Here are a couple of kits from the Higher Place expansion. Yeah. 
For this track, I chose the Artista Kit because it provided me with exactly that oomphy bass kick that I was looking for. Let's program it in the step sequencer. And bring in a clap from pad number two. And some more hi-hats here on pad three and four. Like tiny closed hi-hats. And the open hi-hat to finish the sequence. Ooh. I start swinging, select the symbol on pad 7 and add it between all the kicks. And here we go. A nice house groove. It helps us floating along nicely on the piano groove. I almost didn't touch any of the sounds of the Artista kit, except of a little bit of tuning here and there, but I wanted the bass kick to cut through a little bit better. So I selected it and added almost 50% compression in Machine Sampler, along with a little bit of saturation. In order to spice up the basic groove that we just laid down, I'm gonna bring in a so-called top groove loop. And you will find a couple of those in the higher place expansion. Just go to the loops category, select the drums tag, and here they are. Top grooves are drum rhythms where the low frequency content has been removed, so they fit perfectly over an existing beat. For my track, I'm gonna roll with the top 124 Believe loop. I also wanted to be able to switch out the hi-hat pattern from time to time. So in group C, I loaded a loop called Shaker 124 Wadeln. And if I add it in the step sequencer, and yeah, it adds that subtle swing that I was just looking for. And now it sounds pretty, pretty perfect already. So let's move on to the next element. Higher Place has a whole bunch of ready-to-use vocal samples located in the OneShot directory. I collected some of my favorites in Group G to create a pattern with. And these two, the Walk Arise one and Walk Sneaker samples, are my main samples. I honestly love them both and I couldn't decide, so I layered them just on top of one another. The other ones allow me to match the chord progressions of the piano pattern. Now, there's a reoccurring theme in all of my tutorials, it seems. It's this one note high pitch strings that I love to use to add tension to my songs. It works for house tracks or for J. Dilla beats. Here we have a preset called strings devotee, which sounds like this. But of course, I'm gonna be using a much higher note. Check this out. Now, finding the right bass preset for this track was very easy, but it took me quite some time to dial in the perfect bass line. And this was due to the fact that none of the usual scales here in keyboard mode would wanna fit. And it was only when I used the whole half diminished scale, which is a little bit unusual, that I was inspired.
After laying down that pattern, I was inspired to use Machine's bass synth to create an additional 303-like bleep sound that I would be able to filter and navigate and steer that whole song into a more acid house direction. Now let's take a moment and look at the master bus of this project. Let me quickly bypass two of these plugins so you can follow along a bit better. First, I have the Dirt plugin in the chain, which helps me to add that typical vintage vibe. It tames all the high frequencies and adds a very pleasant type of saturation. Once I bring it in, you hear that the track is sounding more like coming from a tape or a VHS movie even. And in order to compensate for this loss of high frequencies and also a little bit of punch, I use one instance of Ozone 10 because it allowed me to fatten up the whole track again. It also brings back the high frequencies that I originally cut off with the Dirt plugin. But if they are both in tandem and they work in parallel, I just get a very smooth, even sound signature for this 90s classic house track that I love to roll with. So yeah, I just have that rolling on my master and we'll move right into a little jam, which is what we are gonna do next. Jamming is where all the magic happens and it is my preferred way to arrange a track. So here are some tips for the right mindset coming from years of experience with this method. Try to have a storyboard around that you are going to follow. On the other hand, such a storyboard may create some restrictions for yourself. So don't be afraid if you go off-road and end up somewhere totally else. If it works out the way you laid it out beforehand, great. If it doesn't, also great. You can always glue together different takes and create your perfect golden take later on. It's all about enjoying the excitement and the slight rise in adrenaline levels when you hit the record button and start performing and jamming here on the spot. It was so awesome to jam with all the new sounds from Higher Place and Feel It and I hope it's gonna inspire you too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe to the NI YouTube channel. See you again soon.